Well, locomotive number seven normally sits out on the highway at our Hill City location, and so people have noticed that it's been missing. The truth is, it's in here in the shop, getting a cosmetic restoration, getting restored back to its uh, shiny self, new paint job, uh, some repairs needed to the woodwork on it and whatnot. This locomotive's been on static display since 2012, so it's been over 10 years since it was placed out there by the highway. It is uh, our lo oldest locomotive here on the railroad, and it's been here the longest. It has been uh, featured in a number of Hollywood movies and miniseries. So there was a Gunsmoke episode, two-part episode that it was in. There was a Disney movie called Orphan Train. And most recently in 2005 or so, it was shipped down to New Mexico, where it was part of a Steven Spielberg miniseries called Into the West. This locomotive has been with us since 1962. The railroad itself has, has operated with steam locomotives since 1957. So this one came uh, early on in the uh, founding of the 1880 train and, and is obviously the face of our, our company. And it used to run all the way up until the 2010-2011 era. And uh, so a lot of rail fans love it. They love to see it on display, but they also want to see it looking nice. That is why we're investing in the new paint job and some restoration work to make sure it lasts another 20 years or so until it needs another repair job. As you can see behind us, they've they've put a nice fresh coat of red paint on the roof there. You'll see the uh, cow catcher's kind of outside and it's got a new, nice new red paint on it. The woodwork, the windows and the doors, they're all wood and they have, they were pretty rotten. In some cases, all new woodwork had to be put in to the doors to restore them back to their uh, original shape and, and look. The work itself on the boiler and the locomotive itself is primarily cosmetic, although there'll be a little bit of uh, just preservation work to make sure that it doesn't start to rust away in important parts. So, you know, although we're trying to keep it preserved and looking right today, we're also trying to preserve it so that mechanically, if we do want to bring it back, maybe another movie comes calling and we need to uh, to get it back into mechanical operation, we could do that. Well, it would be great to see it in, in another movie. Uh, it kind of has that long lineage uh, dating back from the uh, probably the 60s or so all the way through. And so it'd be neat to see it again. Keep in mind that uh, we keep it up for uh, appearances and again that preservation work to make sure that it can last out there. It does sit out in the weather, in the snow and in the rain and, and that bothers some people but uh, we do love it. We're not trying to be disrespectful to it uh, but it is the face and the trademark of our company so we're proud that it sits out there for people to get up next to and take photos of and uh, look to see it here in, a, in maybe another month or so.